in the specialty I practice, uh, when you have success, uh, you feel top of the world. And when the patient dies at the end of your hand, uh, it's the most uh, lonely place to be. Asif Hassan is the country's leading congenital heart transplant surgeon. My name is Asif Hassan. I'm a consultant cardiac surgeon. I'm also director of cardiopulmonary transplantation at the Freeman Hospital. I would have done approximately 500 cardiopulmonary transplantation and more than 5,000 heart operations. My name is Cecilia Adamu and in September 2010, Asif Hassan carried out my life-saving heart transplant. I remember one time, just goes to show how amazing he is, is when I was really poorly in PICU, apparently, and they pulled back my sheets and there was just, a, I was lying in a pool of blood. So obviously, like, the alarm bells went off and they, you know, hit the crash button and everyone was like, ah! Asif wasn't in the hospital at the time. He was actually having, I think, Sunday lunch with his family. Um, but they called him in because they panicked and they didn't know what was happening. And this was after my transplant. So the first thing they assumed was that my, my scar had come open and that I was like bleeding. And that is an event uh, which I remember second by second because uh, it was such a uh, catastrophic situation that uh, her heart uh, would have bled out because the chest uh, was open. Apparently he arrived at the hospital and he came up to me and he said to me, it's okay, sissy. I'm here now. Don't worry. Uh, running out of the house, uh, driving up to the hospital, leaving the car running, having crashed it onto the wall and ran up to respond to that because seconds would have counted. And so, of course, I remember it uh, very clearly. You have to believe that whenever you're treating a patient, that you're treating your own daughter, your own son, your parents. Uh, you should bring those emotions to bear onto them. However, you have to care, but not care too much. And when I say not care too much, you don't want to cloud your judgment uh, when the time comes. So there's a fine line. It's like uh, flying uh, an aeroplane, you know. You, do, you don't think about all the passengers at the back. You have to concentrate on what you're going to do. I think to my family and to me, he's just this, the most amazing person. Um, we had nicknames that we gave to like all of the different staff members. So we had my doctor who was called Richard Kirk, so we called him Captain Kirk. And then we had transplant Terry, and so we actually just called him God because he's so amazing that we just referred to him as God because to my family he is God because I wouldn't be alive without him. Um, if you ask uh, me as an atheist whether <laughs> I, I believe in God, so um, I don't. So yes, they may refer to me as God, but I don't believe in that. He's just a lovely man. He's so kind. You can tell that he's so passionate about what he does. He's caring and he just has this aura about him. Like when he walks into the room, it's just like. Sissy is alive and well today, not just because of what we did, but what she did and what the family did. Unless we brought all those elements together, uh, there won't be success. The care at the Freeman is, you know, you can't compare any other care to the Freeman because it's just outstanding. I think they're used to it because they do treat the sickest children and they know the ramifications that that can have on the family because sometimes what's best for the medical needs of the child isn't necessarily best for the child themselves or the family so it's always important to sort of take into account everything and I think that's exactly what they do and that's exactly what he does. I wouldn't have uh, liked to have done anything else except what I do now. Um, of course, it's serendipity which got to me uh, at this stage in time. And this is um, the most uh, cherished profession I practice. And um, the highs of um, successes are, are tremendous. Of course, the lows are, are also bad. 
uh, but uh, I think if you balance it out, um, this is the best profession to be in. Thank you.